Facebook has just dropped a quote world model. A world model is a representation that allows an AI system to simulate or reason about how actions change the state of an environment. And that is why I am quite excited to see that now we have this code world model in our folds and that is what we are going to look at in this video. I will be installing it but one heads up, it is a research model. Don't expect it to be used in any general purpose coding tasks or even in the real world domain. This is pure research and I believe this research is going to become quite big in coming days and I'm not talking about weeks or months, maybe in days, you might see something really, really cool happening around this CWM or code world model. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. So in this video, my focus will be on describing this model, its architecture, its use cases. We are going to install it locally and we will also test it out. But main focus is explaining what exactly is this world model in context of code. So first, let's try to understand what is meant by a world model. A world model is a representation that allows an AI system to simulate or reason how actions change the state of an environment instead of only predicting the next token in text as most autoregressive LLMs do, a world model tries to capture dynamics, the cause and effect of actions. In the coding domain, this means learning not just what code looks like, but how it behaves when executed, how variables change after a line of Python runs, or how system state updates when shell commands execute, for example. World models so enable reasoning, planning, and verification in environments where actions have consequences. And I hope that you're now getting my drift that this could be a real breakthrough when it comes to agentic coding. So what exactly is happening in this CWM or code world model? CWM is MetaFair's 32 billion parameter decoder only LLM built specifically for code generation and reasoning about execution. Unlike typical code LLMs that rely mostly on static code corpora, CWM is trained to understand the semantic of code by being exposed to observation action trajectories, for example, Python execution traces and agent interactions with dockerized environments. This makes it a research testbed for exploring how world modeling can improve agentic coding, where a model could act step-by-step -step in software environment. And step-by-step -step simulation or program execution would be possible, especially with your legacy code. If you have ever tried these coding agents on complex repos in your company, then you might know what I mean here. And that is the pain point it is trying to address. There could be a lot of um, use cases around advanced math and coding reasoning. I will be talking more about its training and architecture, but for now, let's get it installed. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card, NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM. Let's log in to Hugging Face first, and I'm going to install this Hugging Face Hub. Once that's done, let me do HF auth login, and let me provide it my Hugging Face read token, which you can also grab for free from your profile in Hugging Face, and it's a gated model, which means that you would have to log into Hugging Face, accept the terms and condition on the model card, which you find the link in video description. So that is done. Next up, let's download and serve the model with the help of VLLM, which is quite a fast, very popular inference engine. If you don't know what VLLM is, how to install it, just go to my channel, search with VLLM and watch this first video. You will become a hero from zero in VLLM in no time. So let me download this model now. And the model is being downloaded. While it downloads it, let's talk a bit more about its architecture and training. Let's start with maybe its architecture. So it is a dense decoder only transformer, as I mentioned earlier, there are 32 billion parameter. And for attention, uh, it uses interleaved sliding window with both local and global attention. And attention simply means when um, we talk about 
um, in the transformer architecture specifically is to have something where a model sheds the light on the most prominent or the relative uh, you know information while ignoring the rest so we can process what's most relevant to the current goal of the model so that is what attention is and then um, there are a lot of other things which are happening into this for example it has got context length of 131 tokens which has been expanded during mid training but if you look at this diagram this is my favorite one in this model so first they did the pre-training so they just took up model from scratch used 8 trillion token and then created a base model with 8k context then they did the mid training which is a new thing they took 5 trillion token and then expanded the context length to around 131k and the data which they used for this mid training was around python execution traces and then some uh, docker observations uh, you know in terms of action and response so basically the purpose of mid training was to teach the model how code affects state semantic not just syntax this actually grounds the model in real execution dynamics and sets a stronger foundation for reasoning and that is when they did the post training with supervised fine tuning which is primarily instruction following and then they also did the reinforcement learning where they had joint multitasking with verifiable coding math and multi-turn agentic reasoning tasks where you take one prompt and have multiple candidates and then it is rewarded and there are few other technical details which you can find through the model and the benchmarks are quite interesting if you go through it and very promising to not earth shattering of course if you compare it to cloud sonnet or gpt but still pretty good especially if you compare to open source ones okay let's go back and see what is happening with our model the model is downloaded as you can see and now it is being loaded onto our shards there are 14 shards loaded onto our gpu of course i will also show you the vram consumption it might also show you somewhere here so around just over 60 gig of vram is being used and there you go the model is being served on our local system now and we can do the inference with it and there you go the model is now loaded onto our gpu and running and i'm just using open web ui as i mentioned just watch the other video which i showed you if you don't know how to get it installed so look at this prompt what i'm doing in this prompt is i am testing this code world models modeling ability for code rather than just syntax prediction in the first part it is forcing the model to generate an observation action trace showing how each simulated command changes the internal state of a virtual file system which directly exercises the model's training on execution traces and environment interaction there are a lot of stuff which is happening here in terms of code so let's run this let's wait for it and it is understanding it while it runs let me also show you the vram consumption just close to 75 gig of vram it is consuming and there you go so it is going step by step let's wait for it to finish and i will show you and just wanted to show you a better view of the prompt which i'm using so this is what i was talking about that i'm setting up the stage and then command sequence representation rules for state snapshot because it is the action and response it maintains the whole state and this is what i'm asking it that it needs to provide all of it classes some run commands implementation constraints are these and then it needs to also emit the script let's go back and check what is happening i think it is going to take a bit of a time so let's wait it's been 10 minutes and it is still running uh, i will let it run and i will show you but you know i just want to say that it's quite an ambitious step towards making these llms for code not just syntax learners but execution aware reasoners and by using this mid training on python traces and agentic docker interactions it practically grounds predictions in state transitions which is something most code models lack and especially if you have used it in real world on very complex repositories its long context which is 130k and strong benchmark results which i showed you here they are um, you know they make it quite a powerful research test but in my opinion and that is where this model shines a lot if i just go up and show you all the reasoning it has done and i'm scrolling very quickly at the top this is all the reasoning where it has sliced and diced checked various alternatives 
each and every stuff which I have given and I have given it on purpose a very complex prompt because that is what mimics the real world. So I think it is clearly framed for research only at the moment, not yet a production ready assistant, not even on your production repos, but as I said, a valuable platform to explore how world modeling can improve debugging, verification and agentic software engineering. I will let it run a bit more and then if it finishes in the next 10 minutes, I will show it to you. Otherwise, we will call it a day. And meanwhile, why don't you just go and like the video, subscribe and become a member. And you see it is doing the action, observation and the state. Love it. And now the script is being written. And the model took around 15 minutes, but it has come back and I have read through the output and it clearly shows and correctly understood the prompt and it has broken the prompt into steps and produced both an observation action trace and a structured Python implementation of the file world simulator with test which I asked it to do in the prompt. It has also demonstrated the intended world modeling behavior by reasoning about how each command like make directory, write, append and move and rm um, prompts which I gave it at the start here. It has dealt with them quite correctly in the output and the design which it has created covers nested paths, validation of parent directories and test cases for correctness, error handling, immutability and a lot of other things around snapshots. Overall, for me, the response reflects that CWM can go beyond static code generation as you can see in this code and it can engage in execution aware reasoning aligning well with its training goal of modeling code semantic rather than just syntax as you can see through the artifact which it has produced. So look very impressive and this is really really good. I think this is something which will become a foundation for various coding agents and we will also check it out once they get released. That's it. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.